Well, it's Tuesday. That means it's Take Control Tuesday with Mansa Musa from MoneySmartLife.org. Mansa, we're about to go into Thanksgiving, which means shopping, shopping, and more shopping for some people. Um, I'm going to keep in control because it is Take Control <laughs> Tuesday. Yeah, well, you, not only Tuesday, but through the whole holiday season. I mean, let's face it, they've been on us since Halloween. Yes. And it's only going to ramp up. But let's talk about how to avoid holiday overspending. Because, you know, if you listen to the retail commercial complex, all they're saying this time of year is buy, buy, buy. For sure. Right. And here's the thing. Many households are reeling from inflation. Right. So the idea of spending even more money is a challenge yeah. for people. So let's talk about how you can kind of get around that. So here's three things you can do. Number one, buy memories, not things. Mm-hmm. If you think about your own life, what do you remember? Experiences that created memories or things? Do memories, not things. Next thing is, is have a plan before the season begins. Decide how much you're going to spend for the holidays During the holidays, you spend money on food, celebrations, eating in and out, Mm -hmm. decorations, gasoline for holiday-related travel, to events, errands, and visits. So there's additional expenses this time of year. And it's important for you to take control of your spending decisions because, listen, holiday debt hangover is a whole lot worse than that hangover you get from the New Year's Eve part. Yeah, because it keep going. (laughs) Right. And it's just as painful. Yep. (laughs) For longer, right? And if you have enough of it, it may force you into other hangovers. So let's avoid holiday debt hangover. So six things to consider when you're planning your holiday spending. Number one, how many people do you want to purchase gifts for? How much do you want to spend on each person? Number two, are you going to host a holiday party? Number three, will family or friends be flying in to spend time over the holiday? How many people? How much will you need to spend? Will you be traveling to family or friends, car or airplane? Number five, are you going to participate in company gift exchanges or holiday school activities for your children? And finally, number six, are you going to gift to your neighbors? Those are the things to consider. And then the final one overall, Randy, is stick to the plan. Please. Once you've considered those things, you've made your plan, stick to the plan. I know that's easier said than done. And it's hard not to impulsively spend money this time of year. They just make it so easy for you. (laughs) They do. They really do. And look, give yourself some slack. Give yourself some leeway. But if you're going to do impulse buying and those kind of things, and it feels good to buy stuff, let's not be untruthful about that, then go on cash basis. Yep. So when the cash runs out, you don't put yourself deeper in a hole. Absolutely. So, okay, I'm speaking this out to myself. Randy, stick to the plan. <laughs> Mansa, thank you so much. And you can get our archives at TakeControlTuesday.com. All things Mansa Musa at MoneySmartLife.org. Thanks. Thank you. And make the plan, then stick to the plan.